So a summary of everything that we've just done. We've got our 12 singers, all with their own separate microphones coming in on channel 1 through to 12. That now shows here. And we have sent each individual channel's auxiliary send out through AUX7. We chose AUX7 because that is the first of the default stereo channels. It is also post fader and we always use a post fader setting when we're using effects. Those were set to minus six and the channel was turned on. And you'll remember that we had a technique for copying and pasting that setting across all channels. Those now send their signal collectively to a master auxiliary seven control, which is visible by me accessing my AUX 1 to 2 menu, 1 to 12 menu here. And here is auxiliary seven showing here and here on screen. What I did was set my output of this channel to go off to my effect. So I had to build an effect in order for that to have something to send to. The effect was built by using the master screen and going to the little tab at the top that said effects. And it was here that I was able to choose new and then choose through the menus a reverb and in my case I preferred a vocal plate. That reverb then needed its output routing back into the desk so then that could have its own way of being sent to the speakers. So we chose to use an input channel, just an ordinary bog standard input channel. I used channel 13, so 13 to 24 here, and this channel here became my input channel. Now, I, because I'm using a stereo effect, I converted it to be a stereo effect, and then I gave it as an input, was the input from the software reverb itself. Also, it picked up the name. We noticed that it changed its own name to Vocal Plate, and it did say that it was Channel 13 Stereo. This means that the way I've got my desk set up at the moment shows me channels 1 through to 12. So here's my different singers with their voices heard dry. But if I wanted to make them be audible, then I would need to bring up, sorry, if I wanted to make their reverb audible, I'd bring up the reverb return. But I'd also need to make sure that their voices were actually being sent to the reverb. And to see that, I'd go back to my auxiliaries shown here. And yes, they are, because that fader is still up. Set the level according to taste. So that's the complete path.